Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Warriors of the North Ice and Fire. At the moment we are grabbing what we can and there is a dragon. So hot. It's terribly hot. Why it's so hot? Hey you, Viking, over there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Tell me what's going on. I was here sleeping, minding my own business, lying in the cool air of my cave, jingling my treasures quietly. And then, what do you think disturbed my three centuries long sleep? A nasty sound piercing which ripped right through my head. Bang, 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 on and on, without stopping. That is outrageous, and all because the water dipping down from the ceiling on top of my head. Now, how can anyone sleep under such conditions? Now tell me how. I should crawl outside, but it's too hot. I melt and lose my tail. It's a disaster. I'm sorry to hear that. You know that your dragon names are t that our dragon names are too long, complicated, and very hard for a human tongue to pronounce, right? So I'll pick a name to make your communication easier. Aliska. You can call me that. And I'm Olaf, and I don't even know what to help you. Strange things are happening all over the island, and the warming is one of them. What warming? But I moved here with all my treasure, especially to stay cool. An island of snow, eternal winter and frost. The home of the frost spirits. What should I do? What should I do? Yes, yes, yes. That's it. I've got to change myself. Okay, black dragon. Yes. That's just what I need. They aren't afraid of heat, and they love fire. And they're most threatening dragons. And I'll bet I look great in black. I've made up my mind, Olaf. You have to help me. Friends always help each other out, right? Since when have we become friends, and what do you want from me? Aliska pays no attention to what you said about friends. You've got to find a way to make me black. I'm entrusting you with this mission. There is an unusual place we live in, and there must be someone out here who can help. Someone with is good with magic or is somehow connected with frost. One might rune, that might be worth it. Now, that's some quest. All right, I'll ask the local dryad. She might know something useful. Ooh, that was short. There comes a boat. Not entirely sure we can outmaneuver that thing, but we try. And we did. Thanks for the money. Wonderful. Oh, even wonderfuler. If something like wonderfuler exists. Bless, hmm, not a great fan of Bless though, and I think we already have that spell. Ooh, leave me alone, leave me alone, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Grab more stuff, grab more stuff, oh yes, runes. They are my favorite. What are you looking for, mortal? Uh, does not talk to me. Plus two rage, that's good. Does not talk to me. Virtue and vice. Okay, that's ob obviously two opposite. One is a more necromancing thingy, and the other is a good one, I guess. So... We always grab what we can. So I don't think we have much choices here. Oh. 
A might rune that might be useful after all. Okay. Oh, that was that was a close call. And tell you what, that thing is terrible fast. Oh, holy shit, that is bad. That is bad stuff indeed. And guess what, there is another ship out there. Well, I think we're just done with the island. Well, at least as far as I can go. this this thing goes away and we might be able to grab some crystals if we're fast enough it is a bit dangerous but greed has always been my greatest weakness If it goes that way, I will try to catch the other crystal. No, it decides not to. Okay, don't be too greedy, Boris. Don't be too greedy. You know when to leave. You know when to grab what you have and to make a run for it. And so we do. What is our actual leave this ship? 2,300. Okay, that might just be enough for what I have in mind. Must not be, but could be. I have an unusual question for you. Do you happen to know who one can turn a dragon black? Sorry, what do you mean by black? I've run into a dragon there. He's actually an ice dragon, but he started to get warmer. So he would like to become a black one. Do you know if there's a way to help him? That's an unusual indeed. I don't remember the power to change the essence of a living creature. Please don't look at me like that. See, these are ice flowers of mine. I worked hard and experimented a lot to make them happen. Things like that don't happen with a simple flick of a band. But I can help you to change its color. It's not that hard at all. Here you are. This powder will turn the dragon black. That's all I can do to help. Okay, now I'm surprised. It was far more easier than I expected it to be. Okay, now comes the really tricky part. Yeah, this one will be after us within a second. Oh god, that thing's fast. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. We have to be as fast as hell to get this one going. So, here we are. This is the Elven Stronghold. Let's see what they have. Okay. 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 Uh, well... Cause for blizzards, spreads, infecting cold damage on everything on its path. That sounds interesting. Blind is one of my favorites. Let's talk to them. Greetings, Viking. I've been informed that you brought a message from Drinnen. My name is Minolar. I'm ruler of the elfin people. Please tell me your name. You offer the letter of the elf. You have my thanks. Oh, yes. That's just the news we have waited for too long. The elf lifts his eyes from the letter and look at you. 
And you are the one we've been waited for so long. I'm thrilled that our problem will now be solved. Me? You're getting something confused. I'm only delivering the letter. I'm not confusing anything. That's what the letter says. The deliverer of this letter will help you with your dilemma. He is, your full dis he is at your full disposal. And next month, well, the rest is about personal affairs. We asked Greenland many times to send someone to help us. And so he sent you. It's you who delivered the letter, which means that's you who've been waiting for. Wait a minute. That rook didn't tell you anything about this, did he? He replaced his ordinary messenger with you, did he? That's just like Brennan. What's your name? I'm Olaf, and I don't understand a thing what's happening here. You must understand that I meant a dying elf by accident. There are no accidents in this world. There is only inevitability. Fate directs us to where we should go. That elf's fate was to die, and to show you the way to us. At last listen to us first, then decide whatever you will to wish to help us or not. Well, why not listen? I will listen to you, but I can't promise you anything. We ice elementals have lived here as long as we can remember. Our lands has always been snow-clad and ice-bound. The winter always rained here, and we are born here, and only wild beasts share this land with us. But it seemed that things could continue like this forever. But then one day some warm creatures came to us. They called themselves elves. And Milnar, their leader, asked us for permission to let his tribe settle here. We didn't object, and we even helped them to get comfortable and become accustomed to our surf weather conditions. We could have kept on living such a life, but some strange creatures appeared, and no one was from a few centuries ago. Continue listening. They had scales instead of skin. Oh, lizard man! They were slippery, and they died quickly in the snow, but we didn't make much of it then. Later, our land began to undergo some changes. The ice and snow melted away in the eastern mountains, and the passage opened that left interior to the earth. That was where the strange creatures were coming from. That sounds more like demons. And they were changing extraordinary fast, adapting to the world around them. They were dying from cold so quickly anymore and they would become more resistant. They called themselves the descendants of Crack, the ancient ones. That are lizard men. We have some record, uh, records about this race in Helena, our homeland. It's really very ancient race, but according to our records, they all died when the world started to change. Not all of them, apparently. Some of them fell asleep, and later something woke them up. No, not all of them, it seems. A lizard always wakes up when it's touched by a warm ray of sunshine in the spring. And not only did this thing wake up the lizard man, it also kills us, the ice elementals. We're getting weaker every day. Soon will be no snows to cover our island, and we will disappear too. Still, we're unable to find ours what caused this. The elves, our loyal friends, offered to help us, but the lizard man has proven extremely blinded. They could not find anything to help us, and only fueled the fire of war. And this war is taking the lives of our friends. It must not go on like this. The lizard men are hiding somewhere in the cave. I think we saw them. And we want to know exactly what this is. This is the help we need. We have been far war for a long time, but the situation is getting worse. The lizard men are sentient, but they do not want to communicate with us. All we've heard from them is, we're going to let you offend our gods. The elemental helped us very much when we got here. They helped our people to survive, and we intend in help to them. We have come to love this snowy forest and the mountains. Now it's our home, and we cannot, and we want to protect. So what remains is just as when we saw it for the first time. So you want me to talk the lizard men to find out why the island is changing. Exactly. We can't go on like this anymore. This war is at a deadlock. My warriors are perishing. The elementals are getting weaker. And we can't do anything about it. Our last hope was Drinan's messenger. And now our only hope is you. All right. I'll negotiate with the lizard men. Even if I fail, I have something to boost about in my home village. It's high time I met my father's expectations. The height of a lizard man is a worthy trophy. I 
don't think he understood what we're here for. I have a few questions. The snows are our life, Viking, and both we are melting. When a snowflake disappears, the last of us will gone too. What did you mean, the elves get here? I mean, the snows, the ice. I understand you're so surprised. This isn't really the kind of climate my rice is used to. But as faith would have it, we're cast here, far away from the forest and live without our native Helene. So you came here from Helene? No. We are forced to leave Helena when we settle down on Malathar Island. After that, we're doing well. We transformed the island, making our home more comfortable. My brother took the lead of the elves and was proclaimed king of Malathar. The only thing that bothered me was that the leader of the battle mages would leave for long periods of time, plus a few elves disappeared. I'm almost, almost certain the leader has fallen back into their old ways and that everything would come to a bad end once again. We would have been all right if it hadn't been for that damned Gwen. My brother was blindly in love with her, and he turned a deaf ear to all my words against her. He accused me of wanting a deal with his beloved heart, and we had a bitter quarrel. He declared me an outlaw in a fit of rage. Said this, his brother was dead to him. I was forced to leave home again, the home I just found. The elves supporting me left together with me. All inhabitants of Malazar were forbidden to keep in touch with us or even mention us. Well, that's the reason they're using the thieves. Forced to live the place that has been our home for many years, we had to search for refuge again. We wandered around the sea for a long while until one night the sky lit up with innocent radiance and bekant on us to us. We met up our minds to follow it, and was how we reached the sword of these islands. The ice gardens met us with silence, ice hummerocks, and fluffy snow peaks. There were no settlements here, no sentient creatures, all us so we thought. Tired and exhausted, we decided to settle down here, but things were not so good. The very possibility of living here was called into question, thanks to the cold weather, uh, cold and the weather conditions we hadn't been accustomed to. But you remained here. Everything was settled by one single encounter. Our scouts went deep inside the forest to search for a more comfortable location than the icy coast. And it was here that they came across some ancient creatures, the frost spirits. They were ice elementals, the real inhabitants of these islands. Thanks to their help, we learned to become accustomed to these harsh climates. We built a settlement, and the elves entrusted me with duties of a ruler also I don't consider myself to be a king. What do you want to ask anything else? Uh, do you want to ask anything else? How did the uh, elementals help you? They showed us calm, comfortable bay, free from piercing wind. We built our settlements on a very bay. In addition, we combined elven magic and elemental magic and created the cold flame. This flame don't harm the spirits and yet at the same time protect us elves from the surf cold. They burn in every heart, in every elf's house. Firewood? You must be joking, Barbarian. Have you ever met an elf who could chop a forest for fire? We do have a problem getting cold, though. The dwarves from the neighboring island were so busy fighting our folk that they have no time to trade. But how do you keep from freezing outside? Do you kill the animals for hides? Yes, we kill animals, but only as many as we need to survive. As practice has shown, if clothes are made from animal hides, are enchanted with a special spell. They will keep you warmer than normal elfish clothes. What's your uh, connection to Drinn? Drinn is the only threat that concerns us in Melasar. He does not obey Renault's law and supplies us with the bare necessities. He's fraud and a dodger, and nevertheless a reliable partner. Yes, that's the reason he tricked us. He supplied us with the goods that we can't get ourselves, and for a decent price. I gave him Eltrani in exchange for his services he performs on us. What's that? That's something invented by the nobles of Melisar. Every blue booth blooded aristocrat receives a token called Eltravenir. It represents the right to have an audience with the king. It also gave the king to vote on important matters. In cases where the king was not entitled to decide the face of the people alone. I don't need it here, but Rinnan can use it to serve my interests if needed be. 
Tell me once again how you moved to this place. I will try to answer your questions. Well, we, he already told us that. Uh, okay, now we know all that. Let's talk to the Frost Spirit. I hope that the eyes of determination is strong in your heart, Olaf, and will accomplish your mission. I have a few questions for you. If you have any questions of me, don't as it has to ask. Who are you? I belong to the family of ice elementals. We are the most ancient inhabitants of Endoria, but we aren't the most ancient inhabitants of Endoria, but we are the oldest of those now living. My family dates back to the great winter that Titans cast over Endoria. Ice covered everything back then, and almost all living things perished. In the chaos wrought by the Titans, a spark of life germinated in the ice, and those were the first of my people. They were not sentient yet. They looked more like magically animated shards of ice. No one paid attention to them, neither the gods who wanted to slay the titans they have sarried, nor the titans who claimed to be gods. That's when our islands split off from the mainland, and the elementals have lived here in isolation ever since. As they have developed, they become sentient and masters of ice magic. They become what we now call ice elementals. I've seen phoenixes on the island, but there's nothing, something strange about them. They don't look like normal phoenixes. Blue flame, they aren't phoenixes, although they are assembling them closely. These birds are magical creatures, just like phoenixes. They were born of elven magic and our magic of the blue flame. Cold fire is their essence. The strokes of their wings bring scalding frost, leaving the ice thorns behind. They are rarely and incredibly beautiful, their offspring of elves and spirits. I am happy that our nation of the elves brought these beautiful creatures into the world. Tell me of your island. Icy Gardens is an elvish name for our island. We just call it the Island of Snow. This ancient land split off from the mainland during the great winter when the titans were still frying against the Skraks. That's when it came ice-bound and covered with snow. It remained that way until the lizard men awoke. Did you just say Skraks? Yes, these are the ancestors of the lizard men we're now fighting. If we believe what they say, perhaps they are taking revenge on us because their ancient ancestors died, and they were brought to life. But we aren't those who brought the winter to the world. There is no reason for this revenge. I hope you can sort things out. I'll go to hurry. Can you tell us anything else? No? Okay, no, he's not talking to us anymore. Let's think if we buy creatures here. We can't get enough of this, we can't get enough of this, we can't get enough of this for the moment. I like those guys. Are they Vikings? Yes, they are. World of Spirits. The troops, if they're undead in the enemy armies, can't not be turned to undead. Tolerant the presence. Okay, but these guys here totally not like Vikings, right? They hate Vikings. They dislike dwarves, orcs, void with lizard men and demons. Okay, so in theory they could even work together. What is that? Okay. This can heal and this can resurrect. That's interesting. So that is do you know what? Holy shit twenty three thousand bucks for just one bird You cannot be serious. Oh, crap. That is insane. What does this do? Ice armor. Snow elf. Inspiration. Cold protection. What 
damage does he do? Ice damage. What do they do? They call spikes. What do you think about we build ourselves um, an ice army? Um, it cost 40,000, that's a hell of a lot. Oh boy. Oh boy, that is expensive. I can just buy one of those. Then I have no money left for any, any creatures. Uh, no, no, not yet. But if you vote for the ice units, please state it in the comments and I will build an ice army, if you think that is wise. So, I will stop the recording now because from all the reading my tongue is getting very, very dry. Until then, bye.